in this lesson, I want to discuss one of the models that we have. It's a new one, so some of you guys haven't got to see this if you're watching it from a previous semester, but you may see this in Anatomy 2. Um, and uh, it really is a good model that depicts a lot of the uh, structures of the eye. Uh, so I'll give a little bit of the uh, what's going on here, some of the structures that we can see on, especially the muscles. Um, but real quick, I want to give some of the things that we can see in terms of anatomy 2 material. Um, and outlined here in red, we can see the cornea. Remember, as I've informed you guys, that eye puns just don't get any cornea. And we come from there, the white part of the eye that we see here is the sclera. The sclera. Now, if we continue on, we can see some of the muscles. And I'll outline the first one here in red and blue. And we'll continue on with them. We've cut it off and kind of left it uh, intact here. But this would be the superior rectus muscle. Superior rectus. Rectus means straight. So this is a straight muscle. You can see how that muscle sits kind of straight in the uh, eye socket here. Now, if we continue on, you can see a little bit underneath of here. You can see its tendon, and then we can see it taking its trochlear notch, and then a little bit of it you can see it back here. Not very much of it, but this would be the medial... I mean the superior oblique, sorry. Superior oblique muscle. And continuing on, if you look inside the medial section, here you can see near the, uh, near the back, uh, on the side of the nose, here we can see a little bit of that muscle. Here I'll outline it. Clearing it out, and let me clean just a little bit of this out of here so we can see it, and then outline it once more so you can see it uh, left intact. And this would be the medial rectus muscle, medial rectus. Now, we are looking at a lateral view of the eye, so this muscle here would be the lateral rectus. Now, we have drawn this several times in lab, um, very much like this. Now, the only one we can't see too well here, we can see the inferior oblique there fairly well. Inferior oblique muscle. And you can see those structures all very well, the, um, the muscles of the eye. Now, some things I want to point out. Here we can see cranial nerve number two. So this would be the optic nerve coming off here. CN2, special sensory vision. And you can even see an area here. This would be the optic chiasm. And you can at least see a little bit of the optic chiasm. Now, this is all kind of runs into both AMP1, AMP2 stuff. Now, mostly AMP1 students get to use these. I do bring one uh, model of this over to the Anatomy 2 lab uh, since they are next door. So there's a little of everything there. You can even see some of the, the frontal sinuses here um, and some of the structures there as well. But uh, there's a lot of things in here. Um, in terms of anatomy, too, you can see at least one of the accessory structures of the eye. But there are more to see on this model. But here you can see the nasolacrimal uh, sac here. Uh, in the medial part of the eye. You can see that there pretty well. Uh, it's one of the few models that we have that shows that. And there is even some depiction of the caniculus, the superior and inferior caniculus on these models, um, not depicted here. Um, then for other association purposes there, guys, this is all we can really see, but I wanted to give a little discussion of this model, so some of you guys want to look at it and review it at home. And this concludes my video on some of the eye models. Thank you.